Doctor, I have to talk about this replacement Miss Babcock sent over. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. <laughs> Why not? She's doing a wonderful job. She's very efficient. Well, I don't know. There's just something about her that rubs me the wrong way. Hello, hello. <laughs> Maxwell, here are the documents from your attorney. Niles, there's something stuck to your hair. What? A big, fat, ugly butler. <laughs> What's that? A cell phone for Fran. <clears throat> yeah, I thought it would help with the planning of the wedding she has to do. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What's that? A pager. With all the running around she has to do, I thought this and her own limo would come in handy. <clears throat> oh, you must have pulled a big one. <laughs> Shall I close the door? Why don't you? You're on the wrong side of it. <laughs> Just tell me. I did have a heart attack, and the doctor says it helps thin my blood if I'm kept constantly in the loop. <laughs> oh, will you stop it? Well, apparently my finance is a lot more complicated than I thought. My attorney thinks it's a good idea if I... <clears throat> well, I should, um... I'm going to ask Fran to sign a prenuptial agreement. Why don't you just walk around downtown Iraq dressed as Uncle Sam? It'll be quicker. <laughs> This isn't just about me and Fran. Apparently, there are some family accounts in my name. I'm responsible for my brother and my sister, their children. Now, I'm just going to explain this to Fran in a calm, rational, firm tone of, oh, here's my pretty darling. Does that look nice? Oh, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Look, I've got you some presents. Oh, <coughs> a sense. cell phone Thank and you. a pager. Wow. And look, it vibrates. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, you better page me all the time. Mm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's for the chauffeur of your new limo. Oh, my God, my own limo. Oh, I don't know, honey. It just seems so show-offy. Oh, well, don't worry about it. It has tinted windows. No one will be able to see you. Oh, well, then what's the point? <laughs> oh, honey, don't forget this afternoon, we're gonna go see Sammy's niece, Edna. She's a wedding photographer, and she is supposed to be phenomenal. Mm. You know, she does all of those dogs dressed as people. She did the Beatles using four Yorkies. Oh, it was very clever. <laughs> well, <clears throat> don't worry, sweetheart, I've cleared the whole afternoon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there is just one little favor I'd like you to do for me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, well, uh, it's just, it's, there's some silly little papers I'd like you to sign. Yeah. Oh, honey, sure, whatever you need. You're the business head in this family. You need me to sign something, I'll sign it. Just as long as it's not a prenup. Niles, <laughs> <laughs> Niles, where are you going? Somewhere else. Now you're on the wrong side of the door. <laughs> You think that just because I sacrificed five years of my life to raise your children so you can go off and achieve financial success, that I was gonna hire some barracuda lawyer to take everything you've got so I could retire in the Riviera and go blonde? <laughs> Who thinks of such things? <laughs> Darling, it has absolutely nothing to do with us. <laughs> everything to do with us. It has to do with trust. What have I ever done to make you think that I couldn't be trusted? Oh, dear Lord, are we really going to open that land of the giant size can of worms? <laughs> well, it's obvious we have different prerequisites for marriage, don't we? I'm surprised that you didn't put a clause in here saying I have to maintain a certain weight. <gasps> uh, he, uh, he saw your mother. <laughs> Two could play at this game, too. I happen to have some relatives that are notary public slash travel agents. <laughs> Perhaps I should have them draw up a prenup to protect some of my assets. <laughs> oh, fine. Fine, you go right ahead. But you better not waste any bloody time. Don't want that welcome back cotter lunchbox falling out of the family's hands. <laughs> yes, what the hell do you want? <laughs> I want that blonde woman out of this house. 